In traditional Chinese culture, qi or qi Chinese, qi pinyin, qi qi is believed to be a vital force forming part of any living entity. Qi translates as air, and figuratively as material energy, life force, or energy flow. Qi is the central underlying principle in Chinese traditional medicine and in Chinese martial arts. The practice of cultivating and balancing qi is called qigong. Believers of qi describe it as a vital energy, the flow of which must be balanced for health. Qi is a pseudoscientific, unverified concept, which has never been directly observed, and is unrelated to the concept of energy used in science vital energy is itself an abandoned scientific notion. <laughs> <laughs> Linguistic aspects The cultural keyword qi is analyzable in terms of Chinese and sino zenic pronunciations. Possible etymologies include the logographs qi, qi and qi with various meanings ranging from vapor to anger, and the English loanword qi or qi. Topic: <laughs> Pronunciation and etymology. The logograph qi is read with two Chinese pronunciations, the usual qi qi, air, vital energy, and the rare archaic qi qi, to present food, later disambiguated with qi. Pronunciations of qi in modern varieties of Chinese with standardized IPA equivalents include, standard Chinese qi, ti, wu Chinese qi, ti, southern min qi, ki, eastern min k, ki, standard Cantonese hei three, hei, and hakka Chinese hai, hai. Pronunciations of qi in sino zenic borrowings include, Japanese qi, Korean gi, and Vietnamese khi. Reconstructions of the Middle Chinese pronunciation of qi standardized to IPA transcription include, ke, ih, Bernard Carlgren, ke, Wong Li, ke, Li Rong, kjh, Edwin Pulleyblank, and, ke, Zheng Zheng Shangfang. Reconstructions of the Old Chinese pronunciation of qi standardized to IPA transcription include, asterisk KDs, Zheng Zheng Shangfang, and, asterisk C, QPS, William H. Baxter and Laurent Sagat. The etymology of qi interconnects with karia K is, anger, sorakisa, move with great effort, khmer K, strive after, endeavor, and gyaurangic K, anger. Topic. Characters In the East Asian languages, qi has three logographs. Qi is the traditional Chinese character, Korean hanya, and Japanese kujitai, old character form, kanji. Qi is the Japanese shinjitai, new character form, kanji. Qi is the simplified Chinese character. In addition, qi qi is an uncommon character especially used in writing Taoist talismans. Historically, the word qi was generally written as qi until the Han Dynasty 206 BCE to 220 CE, when it was replaced by the qi graph clarified with mimi rice", indicating steam rising from rice as it cooks. This primary logograph qi, the earliest written character for qi, consisted of three wavy horizontal lines seen in Shang Dynasty c. 1600 to 1046 BCE Oracle Bone Script, Zhou Dynasty 1046 to 256 BCE Bronzeware Script and Large Seal Script, and Qin Dynasty 221 to 206 BCE Small Seal Script. These Oracle, Bronze, and Seal Scripts logographs qi were used in ancient times as a phonetic loan character to write qi qi, plead for, beg, ask, which did not have an early character. The vast majority of Chinese characters are classified as radical phonetic characters. Such characters combine a semantically suggestive, radical characters, with a phonetic element approximating ancient pronunciation. For example, the widely known word Dao Dao, the Dao, the Way, graphically combines the walk, radical chuo with a show show, head, phonetic. Although the modern Dao and Shou pronunciations are dissimilar, the old Chinese asterisk LUS Dao and asterisk LUS Shou were alike. The regular script character Qi Qi is unusual because Qi Qi is both the air radical and the phonetic, with Mi Mi, rice, semantically indicating steam, vapor. This Qi Qi, air, gas radical, was only used in a few native Chinese characters like Yin 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 Yun, thick mist, smoke but was also used to create new scientific characters for gaseous chemical elements. 
Some examples are based on pronunciations in European languages, foo foo with a foo foo phonetic, fluorine, and nai nai with a nai nai phonetic, neon. Others are based on semantics, king king with a jing jing phonetic, abbreviating king king, lightweight, hydrogen, the lightest element, and lulu with a lulu phonetic, abbreviating lulu, green, greenish yellow, chlorine. Chi chi is the phonetic element in a few characters such as kai kai, hate, with the heart mind radical, sin or sin, shi shi, set fire to weeds, with the fire radical. Huo and Shi Shi, to present food, with the food radical. Shi, the first Chinese dictionary of characters, the Shuowen Jiazi 121 CE notes that the primary Qi Qi is a pictographic character depicting Yun Qi, cloudy vapors, and that the full Qi combines Mi, rice, with the phonetic Qi Qi, meaning Kui Kei Chu Mi, present provisions to guests, later disambiguated as Shi Shi. Topic. Meanings Qi is a polysemous word. The unabridged Chinese Chinese character dictionary Hanyu Da Sidian defines it as present food or provisions for the Qi pronunciation but also lists 23 meanings for the Qi pronunciation. The modern ABC Chinese English Comprehensive Dictionary, which enters Shi Shi, grain, animal feed, make a present of food. And a chi chi entry with seven translation equivalents for the noun, two for bound morphemes, and three equivalents for the verb, n. Air, gas smell spirit, vigor, morale vital, material energy in ch, anise, metaphysics, tone, atmosphere, attitude anger breath, respiration b, f, weather tian chi tian chi, linguistics, aspiration song chi song chi v, anger get angry bully, insult. Topic. English borrowing Qi was an early Chinese loanword in English. It was romanized as Qi in church romanization in the early 19th century, as Qi in Wade Giles in the mid-19th century sometimes misspelled Qi omitting the apostrophe, and as Qi in Pinyin in the mid-20th century. The Oxford English Dictionary entry for Qi gives the pronunciation as IPA t, the etymology from Chinese Qi air, breath, and a definition of the physical life force postulated by certain Chinese philosophers, the material principle. Quote, it also gives eight usage examples, with the first recorded example of Qi in 1850 the Chinese repository, of Qi in 1917 the Encyclopedia Sinica, and Qi in 1971 Felix Mann's acupuncture. <laughs> Topic. Concept References to concepts analogous to Qi are found in many Asian belief systems. Philosophical conceptions of qi from the earliest records of Chinese philosophy 5th century BCE correspond to Western notions of humors, the ancient Hindu yogic concept of prana, and the traditional Jewish concept of nefesh. An early form of qi comes from the writings of the Chinese philosopher Mencius 4th century BCE. Within the framework of Chinese thought, no notion may attain such a degree of abstraction from empirical data as to correspond perfectly to one of our modern universal concepts. Nevertheless, the term qi comes as close as possible to constituting a generic designation equivalent to our word, energy. When Chinese thinkers are unwilling or unable to fix the quality of an energetic phenomenon, the character qi, qi inevitably flows from their brushes. The ancient Chinese described qi as, life force. They believed it permeated everything and linked their surroundings together. Qi was also linked to the flow of energy around and through the body, forming a cohesive functioning unit. By understanding the rhythm and flow of qi, they believed they could guide exercises and treatments to provide stability and longevity. Although the concept has been important within many Chinese philosophies, over the centuries the descriptions of qi have varied and have sometimes been in conflict. Until China came into contact with Western scientific and philosophical ideas, the Chinese had not categorized all things in terms of matter and energy. Qi and Li, li pattern, were fundamental categories similar to matter and energy. Fairly early on, some Chinese thinkers began to believe that there were different fractions of qi. The coarsest and heaviest fractions formed solids, lighter fractions formed liquids, and the most ethereal fractions were the life breath that animated living beings. Yuan qi is a notion of innate or prenatal qi which is distinguished from acquired qi that a person may develop over their lifetime. Topic. 
Topic: Philosophical roots. The earliest texts that speak of qi give some indications of how the concept developed. In the Analects of Confucius, qi could mean breath. Combining it with the Chinese word for blood making zu qi, zu qi, blood and breath, the concept could be used to account for motivational characteristics. The morally noble man guards himself against three things. When he is young, his zu qi has not yet stabilized, so he guards himself against sexual passion. When he reaches his prime, his zu qi is not easily subdued, so he guards himself against combativeness. When he reaches old age, his zu qi is already depleted, so he guards himself against acquisitiveness. The philosopher Mozi used the word qi to refer to noxious vapors that would eventually arise from a corpse were it not buried at a sufficient depth. He reported that early civilized humans learned how to live in houses to protect their qi from the moisture that troubled them when they lived in caves. He also associated maintaining one's qi with providing oneself with adequate nutrition. In regard to another kind of qi, he recorded how some people performed a kind of prognostication by observing qi clouds in the sky. Mencius described a kind of qi that might be characterized as an individual's vital energies. This qi was necessary to activity and it could be controlled by a well integrated willpower. When properly nurtured, this qi was said to be capable of extending beyond the human body to reach throughout the universe. It could also be augmented by means of careful exercise of one's moral capacities. On the other hand, the qi of an individual could be degraded by adverse external forces that succeed in operating on that individual. Living things were not the only things believed to have qi. Zhuangzi indicated that wind is the qi of the earth. Moreover, cosmic yin and yang are the greatest of qi. He described qi as issuing forth and creating profound effects he also said human beings are born because of the accumulation of qi when it accumulates there is life when it dissipates there is death there is one qi that connects and pervades everything in the world another passage traces life to intercourse between heaven and earth the highest yin is the most restrained the highest yang is the most exuberant the restrained comes forth from heaven the exuberant issues forth from earth. The two intertwine and penetrate forming a harmony, and as a result, things are born. The Guanzi essay Niya Inward Training is the oldest received writing on the subject of the cultivation of vapor and meditation techniques. The essay was probably composed at the Jixia Academy in Qi in the late 4th century BC Zunzi, another Confucian scholar of the Jixia Academy, followed in later years. At 9, 69 Zunzi says, "...fire and water have qi but do not have life. Grasses and trees have life but do not have perceptivity. Fowl and beasts have perceptivity but do not have yi sense of right and wrong, duty, justice. Men have qi, life, perceptivity, and yi." Chinese people at such an early time had no concept of radiant energy, but they were aware that one can be heated by a campfire from a distance away from the fire. They accounted for this phenomenon by claiming, Qi radiated from fire. At 18, 120 seconds, he also uses Qi to refer to the vital forces of the body that decline with advanced age. Among the animals, the gibbon and the crane were considered experts at inhaling the Qi. The Confucian scholar Dong Zhongshu ca. 150 BC wrote in Luxuriant Dew of the Spring and Autumn Annals, the gibbon resembles a macaque, but he is larger, and his color is black. His forearms being long, he lives 800 years, because he is expert in controlling his breathing. Quote opening parenthesis quote. Yuan Shi Hao Dao O Hei Zhang Qian Bai Suo Yi Shou Ba Bai Hao Yin Qi Yi Later, the syncretic text assembled under the direction of Luan, the Huai Nan Zi, or Masters of Wainan, has a passage that presages most of what is given greater detail by the Neo Confucians. Heaven, seen here as the ultimate source of all being, falls duo duo, i.e., descends into proto-immanence as the formless. Fleeting, fluttering, penetrating, amorphous it is, and so it is called the supreme luminary. The Tao begins in the void brightening. The void brightening produces the universe yujo. The universe produces qi. Qi has bounds. The clear, yang qi was ethereal and so formed heaven. The heavy, turbid qi was congealed and impeded and so formed earth. The conjunction of the clear, yang qi was fluid and easy. The conjunction of the heavy, turbid qi was strained and difficult. So heaven was formed first and earth was made fast later. The pervading essence of heaven and earth becomes yin and yang. 
The concentrated Juan essences of yin and yang become the four seasons. The dispersed San essences of the four seasons become the myriad creatures. The hot qi of yang in accumulating produces fire. The essence Jing of the fire qi becomes the sun. The cold qi of yin in accumulating produces water. The essence of the water qi becomes the moon. The essences produced by coatus yin of the sun and moon become the stars and celestial mark points Chen planets. Topic: <laughs> Role in traditional Chinese medicine. The Huangdi Neijing, the Yellow Emperor's classic of medicine. Circa 2nd century BCE is historically credited with first establishing the pathways, called meridians, through which qi circulates in the human body. In traditional Chinese medicine, symptoms of various illnesses are believed to be either the product of disrupted, blocked, and unbalanced qi movement through meridians or deficiencies and imbalances of qi in the Zhangfu organs. Traditional Chinese medicine often seeks to relieve these imbalances by adjusting the circulation of qi using a variety of techniques including herbology, food therapy, physical training regimens qigong, tai chi qian, and other martial arts training, moxibustion, tui na, or acupuncture. The nomenclature of qi in the human body is different depending on its sources, roles, and locations. For sources there is a difference between so-called primordial qi acquired at birth from one's parents and qi acquired throughout one's life. Or again Chinese medicine differentiates between qi acquired from the air we breathe so-called clean air and qi acquired from food and drinks so-called grain qi. Looking at roles qi is divided into defensive qi and nutritive qi. Defensive qi's role is to defend the body against invasions while nutritive qi's role is to provide sustenance for the body. Lastly, looking at locations, qi is also named after the Zhangfu organ or the meridian in which it resides. Liver qi, spleen qi, etc. A qi field refers to the cultivation of an energy field by a group, typically for healing or other benevolent purposes. A qi field is believed to be produced by visualization and affirmation. They are an important component of wisdom healing qigong founded by Grandmaster Ming Pang. Topic. Comparable concepts Concepts similar to qi can be found in many cultures. Topic. Religious beliefs Prana in Hinduism and Indian culture, qi in the Igbo religion, pneuma in ancient Greece, mana in Hawaiian culture, lung in Tibetan Buddhism, manitou in the culture of the indigenous peoples of the Americas, rua in Jewish culture. In Western philosophy, notions of energia, elan vital, or vitalism are purported to be similar. Some elements of the qi concept can be found in the term energy when used in the context of various esoteric forms of spirituality and alternative medicine. Topic. Popular culture Elements of the concept of qi can also be found in Eastern and Western popular culture. In the manga Dragon Ball and the video game series Tekken, qi is depicted as something that can be visibly seen. Parallels with qi can be seen with the concept of the Force in the Star Wars film series and the related Jediism, a religion based on the Jedi. Topic. Scientific view Qi is a non-scientific, unverifiable concept. A 1997 consensus statement on acupuncture by the United States National Institutes of Health noted that concepts such as qi are difficult to reconcile with contemporary biomedical information. The 2014 Skeptoid podcast episode titled, Your Body's Alleged Energy Fields Related a Reiki practitioner's report of what was happening as she passed her hands over a subject's body. What we'll be looking for here, within John's auric field, is any areas of intense heat, unusual coldness, a repelling energy, a dense energy, a magnetizing energy, tingling sensations, or actually the body attracting the hands into that area where it needs the Reiki energy, and balancing of John's chi. Evaluating these claims, author and scientific skeptic Brian Dunning reported, his aura, his chi, his reiki energy. None of these have any counterpart in the physical world. Although she attempted to describe their properties as heat or magnetism, those properties are already taken by, well, heat and magnetism. 
There are no properties attributable to the mysterious field she describes, thus it cannot be authoritatively said to exist. <laughs> Practices involving qi Topic. Feng Shui The traditional Chinese art of geomancy, the placement and arrangement of space called Feng Shui, is based on calculating the balance of qi, interactions between the five elements, yin and yang, and other factors. The retention or dissipation of qi is believed to affect the health, wealth, energy level, luck, and many other aspects of the occupants. Attributes of each item in a space affect the flow of qi by slowing it down, redirecting it or accelerating it. This is said to influence the energy level of the occupants. One use for a luopan is to detect the flow of qi. The quality of qi may rise and fall over time. Feng shui with a compass might be considered a form of divination that assesses the quality of the local environment. Kagong. Qigong, qi gong or qi gong involves coordinated breathing, movement, and awareness. It is traditionally viewed as a practice to cultivate and balance qi. With roots in traditional Chinese medicine, philosophy and martial arts, qigong is now practiced worldwide for exercise, healing, meditation, and training for martial arts. Typically a qigong practice involves rhythmic breathing, slow and stylized movement, a mindful state, and visualization of guiding qi. Topic. Martial arts Qi is a didactic concept in many Chinese, Korean and Japanese martial arts. Martial Qigong is a feature of both internal and external training systems in China and other East Asian cultures. The most notable of the Qi-focused, internal, Force Jin martial arts are Baguazhang, Xing Yi Quan, Tai Chi Qian, Southern Praying Mantis, Snake Kung Fu, Southern Dragon Kung Fu, Aikido, Kendo, Hapkido, Aikaju Jutsu, Luohen Quan, and Lu He Ba Fa. Demonstrations of Qi or Qi are popular in some martial arts and may include the unrisable body, the unbendable arm, and other feats of power. Some of these feats can alternatively be explained using biomechanics and physics. Topic. Acupuncture and moxibustion Acupuncture is a part of traditional Chinese medicine that involves insertion of needles into superficial structures of the body skin, subcutaneous tissue, muscles at acupuncture points to balance the flow of qi. This is often accompanied by moxibustion, a treatment that involves burning mugwort on or near the skin at an acupuncture point. Topic. Taoist sexual practices Topic See also equals equals notes <laughs>